Hey guys, Happy New Year! I'm wearing black because I'm still mourning the death of the festive season. Rest in peace for another year, my son. I basically spent the last two weeks in my pajamas while my mum fed me various kinds of cake, so I've had a very relaxing time. Also, Santa was particularly kind to me this year. Firstly, I got Star Wars PJs. I mean, check it out. Stop judging me for wearing them, I'm still transitioning into the new year. Han Solo and a stormtrooper seem to be guarding my butt. This plushy blobfish from down, which I think is an accurate representation of my soul. A Stephen King horror anthology, because why not be terrified when you're trying to fall asleep? This phone case, which changes colour depending on your mood. Apparently my face is feeling... Green! And finally, you're not even ready for this. Some heated narwhal slippers, which you plug into the computer and then they heat up as you're browsing. I mean, what more could a boy want in the world? And that concludes our Christmas haul. I wish I actually spoke like that with the rolling of the R's. Christmas. That was a bit serial killer, wasn't it? Cr cr la 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 la. Okay. What am I doing? Anyway, while I was at home, my dad found a load of old home movies from when I'm like 20 months old. So I thought we could all take a trip into the past and have a look at baby Phil. And I'll probably implode from cringing, but it'll be worth it for you guys. Okay, here we go. Fuzziness. I'm not oh my god, it's rainbow. That must have been on the tape before we recorded this. That bear scared me to death. I thought it would come into my bedroom and eat me in my sleep. I mean, look at its face. No thanks. <laughs> what is this? Same. Oh my god, it's little Phil! Look at me! I look like a little Ewok. Light! Can I just say that my first word was light, and I may say it quite a lot in this video. Let's see how many times I say it. Splashing. Light. Light. Who's <laughs> that? Oh, it's my brother! What's his name? Light. He's got the same it's face. Light, did it? Did it? That's so What's funny. Your name? He looks like a little alien. Say your name. Say your name. Light. <laughs> Say your name. Light. Where's your bear? Where's my bear? What's my bear? Well, that's terrifying. Imagine having that looking at you while you're sleeping. Why am I blonde? Are we sure this is me or did I get swapped for another child? Okay, my brother's like, let's go down the stairs. And like, get off my hand, biatch. Nope, not holding his hand. For breakfast. I don't think I've said any other word other than light so far. What is that? Why did my parents just buy me things that would terrify me? The lounge looks so old-fashioned! Look at that TV! I can't believe TVs used to look like that. I'm wearing matching socks. Who is this child? Oh, Phil. I'm almost as bad as Dill. Oh, here we go. Phil versus Spoon. Oh, mostly made it into the mouth. Again, better then than I am now. Oh, it's my old house! Look how old-fashioned the cars look. They kind of look futuristic because they're so old-fashioned. Does that make sense at all? Are you eating a dog biscuit? <laughs> My brother's just eating a dog biscuit. Again, runs in the family. In the Why have we got dog biscuits? Oh, it's Bundle! Oh, I love that dog so much. That was my grandma and granddad's dog. After Bundle the dog had visited, I remember I wrote my parents a 20 page letter called Please Can I Have a Dog? And I just wrote, Please Can I Have a Dog? Please Can I Have a Dog? Please Can I Have a Dog? About a million times, hoping that dedication would get me a dog. Never did get me a dog. <laughs> what is that bonnet? Am I a woman from the 1900s? Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I sound northern even then. Listen to that. Oh dear. Oh my god, my mum! She's gonna hate me for this. I'm sorry, mum. What is she wearing? She looks like she's about to go into space or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mum, please let me put that in the video. Although my brother's really intently trying to watch the snowman and I'm just banging a frog on the TV. What a tolerant brother, though. I'll give you that, Martin. Don't know why he's wearing a coat inside. <laughs> wow, that is an attractive look. What am I doing? I'm being a monster in the bath. Or Superman. Or both. Oh, it's my grandma's animal book. There, I just learned what a fly was. A moment in my history. So this is my brother's fifth birthday now. Oh, it's my grandma! Oh, I miss her so much. She got me a present as well because I'd always get so jealous of my brother when he had presents on his birthday. So I always had a present and I got to blow out my own candle as well. Oh, it's my granddad Eric. I don't really remember him as he died when I was four, but I do remember him teaching me how to play Scrabble and doing up his shoelaces. They're my two memories. So he's obviously a cool guy. Oh, my brother got a Superman outfit. Jealous. So <laughs> See, this is how you entertain yourself before computer games. That's my brother's cake. Wow, parents. Really stingy that year. <laughs> They're trolling me with a burnt out candle. Oh my god, musical chairs. It's like the party game Hunger Games. 
Go on, child. Run. No. No, you didn't even try. Oh! It's my rabbit! This was our house rabbit. She was the best rabbit ever. She was called Holly. This is my grandma feeding her. And she'd just stand up and eat the food like a dog. I want to clone her or bring her back from the dead. Is that a bit creepy? Sorry, Holly. Holly did not want to be held like that. She was totally scared of heights. We had that cage in the corner of the office and she just never went into it. So then we just let her live in the house like a dog. My parents still have that plant. It's grown a lot since then. They dressed us in the same clothes? We're like the twins from The Shining. I can't decide if that's cute or terrifying. Oh, look at me eating my jelly, just in my element. Best day of my life. <laughs> and there we go, it was so weird seeing myself as such a little creature. Maybe in 50 years when I've got a robot head, I'll look back on this video and be like, Ooh, fancy. So apparently that's how robots speak. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for little alien baby Phil. I'm sure he would appreciate it in the future. Also, you can subscribe to find out when my next video is going to be. And all of my links are below if you want to follow me on various websites in a non-creepy way. It's been lovely to talk to you again. I hope you're all doing good at the start of January. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye. Boop.